First bomb. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love when that works. Yo, follow me on Twitch. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Recently, there's been a lot of new people playing Splatoon, so I figured I would show you how a seasoned veteran, <laughs> that, that, that's me, plays Splatoon. Step one is to find a weapon that suits you. Now there's a lot of weapons to choose from in Splatoon. I've actually spent the last couple of years going through every weapon type and learning how they work and how the play style is, only to find out that I hate pretty much all of them. But if you're like me, you can just go ahead and use a splatter shot. It's a great weapon. It's got burst bombs. It's easy to handle. It's powerful. It's got burst bombs. It's got burst bombs. And once you've picked your special weapon, you're going to next want to worry about your gear. Now, looks can be exciting. I know maybe you want to be a queen. But look at this gear. It sucks ass. You're going to want something a little bit more like my gear. OK, check out this with the shades. We got hella speed and check this out. Ink resistance and bomb power up. So my burst bombs are busted. This is what you need. You need gear that'll make you just the most unlikable person. And once you've got all this together, it's time to get onto the battlefield. Diving headfirst into X rank is probably the worst thing you could do, and it's not my brightest decision. Um, but you know what? It's for the content. Let's see what happens. OK, here we go. Booyah for good measure. Nobody really booyahs in X rank. That one guy knows what's up. I have to remember how to play this because uh, I'll be honest. I don't remember. Is that an explosher? Is it an X rank explosher? What the hell is that? I really don't like that explosher. You never see explosions ever like at, like you never see them. So the fact that there's one here at a competitive level it absolutely terrifies me. Look at him go. Got to hit them with that element of surprise. For me, that's burst bombs. Burst bombs are truly the bread and butter of Splatoon gameplay for me. I don't know how I would play without them. I can't handle this. Oh, come on. God, I forgot the pain of getting a splashdown canceled. I haven't had one of my splashdowns canceled in like four months. And I just was painfully reminded of how horrible it is. Watch out for this guy. Watch out for this guy. You know what? I'm just going to run away. If, if if danger is present, just just go away from it. That's what I found to be truly helpful. Yeah, I'm a coward, but I'm alive. So think about that. Put him out of his misery. Put him out of his misery. There you go. Got him. Get the guy off the tower. Nicely done. There you go. See, teamwork makes the dream work. That's what I'm talking about. That was actually pretty good. This was my first match and I didn't get shit on for the most part. I feel like I, you know, I feel like I always wanted to be a Splatoon competitive player, but I never really had what it takes. I've dabbled with competitive Splatoon. <laughs> no, but seriously, I've tried it and uh, man, I you think I'm good? You don't? Well, if you do, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. First bomb, baby. Yeah, there we go. Teamwork. My buddy helped me. I see we got back. That's awesome. Don't Scare me like that, Bucket! Hey, where's the tower? Checkpoint two. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have asked. All right, so now that they're off the tower, we have to have a hard line of defense to prevent them from getting back on it. And I know just how to do that. Shooting my gun. That's really, <laughs> that's really the only strategy that I know in this game. It's just shoot the guy. Oh, there we go. My strategy is working. I'm shooting my gun and they're dying. <laughs> Who knew it would be that easy? Dynamo! Rule number seven. I guess we're on rule number seven now. Dynamo, don't like him. <laughs> get this guy, get this guy. Yes, burst bombs, baby. Burst bombs are the key to success. Dynamo is not, but I'm good. I'm good, so we're chilling. Okay, where's the tower? It's moving. Shoot your gun. Remember, step one, shoot your gun. Run away! <laughs> step five is run away. That's two burst bomb hits. How much defense do you have? How are you still alive after all that we've put you through? There you go. They didn't even have any defense. We lost. It's over. We lost. I turn away for two seconds to kill a bucket and we lost. It's pretty simple here. Rule number eight is to have patience. In this game, you're going to die a lot. You're going to lose a lot. That's fine. No, no. Are you serious? It's fine. Look at this guy. Is that, a, is that, a, is that an end zap? Not an end zap, a nozzle nose. I don't know my weapons anymore. Clearly, who brings a nozzle nose to X rank and is good with it? Ooh, that really hurt. Strip right now. It looks like he's in a good spot. Oh, he's not in a good spot. This is a bad spot. I'm alive. I lived. <laughs> nice tribal blobber. Not today, buddy. Come on. 
Okay, now I gotta- God damn it! Oh, the blobbers, I hate them. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, they are pushing in on us right now. Pushing in like a needle. And it, it hurts like a needle. Come on, guys, we can do it. I have a lot of faith in my team. We have a blaster. That's, that's good. That's gotta be good enough, right? Rule number nine. Um, burst bombs are key. Now, this is something that I personally do very frequently. Uh, I am a burst bomb connoisseur. Don't ask me how to spell connoisseur. I could never in a million years. Burst bombs are like pouring warm water on a bottle cap that you can't open. You just throw it, it weakens them for you, and then you're good to go. No, I gotta get on. No, ah, I should have gotten on the tower instead of dancing around like an idiot. Okay, we're on the tower. We're on checkpoint. We're good. Just jump. Just jump. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. We can win this. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Step number 10. Let your team do the rest. I want to get a really good X rank score. In order to do that, we need to keep winning battles. I got to get some kills. I think I need some more objective time as well. I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to... I see you, dude. Don't think you're hiding from anybody. Uh, 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 uh. Watch this. Watch this. I'm so sick at this game, dude. I'm so sick. I'm sick nasty. I'm like friggin... Help! 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 First bomb. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love when that works. Uh, why does that work? Um, I really shouldn't jump. Ah, oh, jumping is so scary, man. Because of that. Because that's why. That's why I try not to do it, but I do it anyway because I'm stupid and I think, oh, I won't die this time. And that's always the time that I die. Oh, I thought that was going to hit me. Whew, if, this game, if this game were in 3D, that would have been... I would have pooped my pants. More than I just did. Oh, God. Okay, don't fall asleep. You got that to deal with. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, oh man! <laughs> Oh, I look like such an idiot. Everybody saw it and everyone's laughing. They're booyahing me because I'm stupid. Don't give me a booyah. Lesson number 11, moral support. Okay, it's important to give your team booyahs when they do good. Um, and give them booyahs when they do bad as well. Just, just yell, just make noises at them until good things happen. We have the lead, so I don't need to be as sweaty as I am right now. But for some reason, I just can't, I like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't, I can't not. Okay, we're good. As long as we are on the tower for the next three seconds. Couldn't, couldn't, just couldn't do it, could I? There we go. Whew, okay. That is, I think, nine placement matches down. I have one more. One more that will determine my incredible X rank score that I promise you will be... Oh, no, that's it. Oh, 20... Hey, that's, that's pretty good, I think. Is that good? I don't actually know if that's any good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more game just to bring it up a little bit higher. I get my serious face on. We are in real X rank territory right now. These aren't placement matches. This is the real deal. Okay. <gasps> Off out of this house. Okay. We're good. We're good. Just hold this for a little bit longer. Sorry, I kind of stole your kill, but I didn't think you were gonna get them, so I just did it for you. So you're welcome. I think is, is, is a thank you is in order. As long as they do not get the lead, everything is fine. We are, we are good. We are crispy golden like a chicken tender. Really important that you cover up the map. You don't want people like this guy running around your house, dropping ink all over the place. I'm out of ink. Ooh. Okay, be very careful. Okay, we're good, we're good. Get on it, get on it, get on it. Yes, okay. All right, we're fine. We are, we are back to square one. Oh God, okay, 41 seconds, less than a minute. Just gotta hold off. For less than a minute, it won't be hard. It won't be hard at all. It won't be hard. It's easy. It's practically a child's game. Nine, eight, seven. Don't stop playing now. It's not over yet, dude. It's not, it's not over till it's over, man. Come on. Okay, just stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. That was the most stress I have felt in my entire life. See, that's, that's good stuff. 32 points. That's awesome, man. I have the highest X rank score anyone's ever had. So hopefully these essential steps have shown you how to get better at Splatoon, whether you are a brand new player to the game or a new player to the game. Hopefully th <laughs> this video helped you in some way. I'm, I'm sure it did not. You know what you can do? You can follow me on Twitch for live streams. I play Splatoon sometimes over there. I don't know if how that's going to help you get better, but you know, it'll be a good time hanging out with me and playing video games. That's always fun.